My project is testing thin film garnet materials for use as Faraday isolators and I'm specifically determining the effect temperature has on the magnetic and optical properties of these garnets. I'm Stella and I'm working in Professor Caroline Ross's lab this summer. What I'm trying to figure out is how a magnetic field will affect the light that travels through the garnet and the end goal of, of this project is to use these garnets in photonics devices to protect lasers from back reflection. First I apply a magnetic field to the garnets and I measure how much I can magnetize them. So I measure their magnetic field while under a different magnetic field. And then I use another machine to both apply a magnetic field and a laser to the garnet. And when the laser goes through the film, the polarization changes because that's like the special property of these films and I can measure the change in the polarization of the light using filters as it passes through the film. I'm going to set this to negative 30 degrees. I'm trying to connect these two data sets, one being how much I can magnetize the material, which is the saturation magnetization, and the other being the ability of the material to polarize light passing through it. Now that we're down to negative 30 degrees, we can start the measurement. This summer I was able to learn about something completely different, which is photonics, and I'm learning about how we can use different materials to control the path of light and use it for communications. The end goal of this project is to use these thin film garnets to protect lasers from themselves. So the light going through the material from the laser can move through this material, but the light coming back toward the laser is blocked, so it protects the laser from back reflection. And this type of device is called a Faraday isolator.